Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Heroes uh, Heroines Quest. Wow. Wow. I already messed that one up. <laughs> uh, we're picking up right where we left off, and let's see if I can, uh, if I can walk up these steps. We were um, just talking to the smithy, who is the husband of the the other chick <laughs> that we were that we started out in uh, he found us in the in the snow and uh, brought us in let's uh, oh we got some boots here what do we got in a creative approach to architecture you find this blacksmith's house at the top of his workshop uh, a wooden staircase leads to the front door overlooking the streets of the city okay that's not that's not what I wanted to look at look at that pair of boots stands outside the house as if left out to dry they are lined with fur and appear to be well made as well as recently used Ooh, can we go inside uh no it is locked all right kind of figured that let us go down here and let's uh let's walk this way walk this way Talk this way. Oh, there's two guards now. I will just walk by you guys. I've already talked to you at once, once before. All right, come on, come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> now we're back here, huh? Uh, is there anything around here? Urchin's cart. Uh. Small barrel. Immediately at the city gates, an oddly shaped building has been haphazardly constructed as if several disagreeing architects, as if by several disagreeing architects. It is quite resilient, albeit in a, an unorthodox way. Fittingly, it houses the local adventurers guild. Okay. Uh, let's go this way, maybe. Come on. Very good. Uh, and I'm guessing the place with the sign is where I want to be. The sign over the door shows an elegant drawing of Sletnir, the eight-legged gray horse that Odin rides. Getting a little bit of uh, Norse mythology here. Let's go inside for a spell. Oh, hello there. You must be the new traveler in town. Hervor has told me about you and your ordeal in the snow. It is good to see a new face and news from the rest of the world. And so I bid you welcome to the Sleipnir Tavern. Okay. Uh, who are you? Please tell me about yourself. My name is Lithrasil. I run the Sleipnir Inn, meaning I keep the people in town here happy in the face of Ragnarok. Through judicious application of alcohol. Sleipnir is the eight-legged steed of Odin the Sindelar. Loki, forger of evil, had hired a mighty frost giant to construct a keep for him. But Loki would only be paid if the task was done within three seasons. So, to ensure the Jotun's work was done late, Loki the Sly turned himself into a man to distract the Jotun's horse from helping him. The plan worked, and the Jotun left without payment. But as a result, Loki the Giant Thief gave birth to the horse Sleipnir. That sounds painful, uh, even for an Elder God. <laughs> uh, actually, before I do anything here, let's... Uh, I, wish you I feel like this music has reset itself for some reason. Yeah, what 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 is going on here? Let's let's put this up so we can actually hear them. Let's put this down so it's not blasting in my ear. Okay. Very good. Let's uh maybe I have to save it. Let's save this. Not overwrite the auto. Uh yeah, we'll just let's uh let's give it a new name. We'll say. <laughs> Fixed sound. All right, there we go. Now let's try that again. Welcome, traveler. 
We may be in an endless winter with our food supplies running out, but I can still serve you a drink if you like. What can you tell me about what the city? What can you tell me about the city? Lots of things, if you want to hear them. Being a barkeep means you hear all the tales. Some people get very talkative in my inn, if they do not pass out from a drink too many. Really? Uh, yeah, tell me about the Tell me of Boland the smith. The local smith frequently comes to the slate near inn, for a drink and some gambling. A good enough fellow, if a bit quiet for my taste. Hervor is really happy with him. Well, I can imagine as a married man, he wants to get away from that freaking kid <laughs> and drink his sorrows away. <laughs> How about Hervor? What do you know about Hervor? Hervor is my closest friend here in Forn Sigtuna, and she runs the Adventurer's Guild. I promise you, the two of us would never gossip about you. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Jaime? Surely you have met Jaime. Of course I have. He is the light of the town, with his enthusiasm and his wooden sword. I bet he would charge straight at a dragon, if we had any. Yeah, he's not a very smart kid. <laughs> That's from what I gather, anyway. Uh, uh, what What the hell is Monogvergir? What is, what is Mono? <laughs> what do you know of Monogvergir? Oh, the people from Lunavagir are nice enough. At least, one of them is. Mmm, do tell. <laughs> nice, uh, nice in, uh, in what way shall we say? Uh, oh, okay, a letter, a letter delivered? Um, so what, I gotta send a love letter or somebody? Do you a letter delivered? Yes, I do. There are not many people traversing the forest in the Thimble Winter, and some of us have gotten it into our heads that Munavagir is somehow our enemy. So, I would like you to find your way through all the evil snow, talk to the oh-so-scary humans in Munavagir, and give this letter to the resident healer. Lith is his name. I see... You're in, you're in with the uh, the resident healer, huh? You're looking for a little uh, sexual healing. Sexual healing. <laughs> I don't even know how the song goes. <laughs> uh, what, I would like what do you to have buy for some sale? Of your wares. You are welcome to them. What can I get for you? Um. Rations would be have nice. Rations for sale. So sorry, but we do not have enough food left in Forn Sigtuna to sell it. Perhaps you should go out and hunt. Perhaps you should not tell me what I should do, lady. Uh, stamina Please would be sell nice. Me a stamina potion. I stock some stamina potions brewed by Lith, the kind healer in Munavagir. I am told they even give you the resilience to withstand poison. Would you like one? Uh, yeah, as long as it's not like a love potion number nine type of thing. Oof, 20, huh? What do I have? Seven! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, can I, can I, can I get you down to, down to a reasonable price here? Uh, how about this? Well, looks like you will be going thirsty today. Uh, it's kind of what I figured. All right. Well, and I don't need a drink right now. Although, well, I do kind of need a drink, but <laughs> my character doesn't really need a drink right now. I wish you good health. Be careful out there. Yandvadir is dangerous, and the winter is cold. And the bears are hibernating. <laughs> the plate with some slices of meat stands on the counter. It looks as like it's a few days old but still looks tasty it smells tempting too uh, why would you have five day old turkey 
lying on your counter. Well, I guess she is chopping, chopping carrots. Can you even give me like a little nibble of a carrot? <laughs> Just a little, a little taste, a little morsel. <laughs> Freaking starving here. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, hello there. Um. Who, who are, who are you? Hey. Who How are can you? I help you? Um. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. I've already talked to you. Huh. Okay. Let's uh, let's go through here. Uh, let's uh, let's talk to this guy. Why not? How can I help you? Oh, it's it's the same guy. You look a lot like the last guard I spoke you to. You look a lot <laughs> like the last guard I spoke to. Are you saying all people from this country look alike to you? I find that rather insulting. Uh, as you should, as Thank you should. Thank you for your time. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, all right. I get it. I get it. I need to. I need to go hunting for some food. Um, so I've been here already, and uh, let me let me just see if if there's. I have a dagger, but uh, oh, oh, they're they're paying they're paying a visit here. How about that? What is it? Um, I never bid mind. you farewell. Stars guide your path. You you have nothing additional for me. To, oh, what is? I didn't even notice that before. What is that? A wave of heat washes over you as you step into the loon smithy. The master craftsman has been working hard to keep forcing Tuta, or Farn, Farn Sictuna, uh, supplied with much needed weaponry and tools throughout this harsh winter. But that is not what I wanted. I wanted to look at that thing. Right that there. gemstone is none of your business. Ooh, somebody's a little testy. Just a little testy. Perhaps it is all my business. Perhaps that gemstone and the other one in the freaking guild thing that I looked at are are the two end game things that I need and I could just end this game right now. How about that? How about that? How do you like that logic right there? <laughs> oh, if only I wrote one of these games, man. I'd just I'd be as snooty as hell. <laughs> Alright, let's come down here. The uh, good. Uh Oh, wait, you know, I didn't even, what is this over here? I didn't even notice this sparkling before. A tall wooden hunting spear leans discarded against the crates. It appears to be crudely made, but serviceable. Judging by the snow on top, nobody has cared about this spear for some time. Well, guess what, spear? You and I, we got a date with some food. You take the old spear leaning against the crate. It looks weathered, but usable. Now you're ready to do some hunting. Excellent. Excellent, Smithers. Let us do just that so we can... We can uh, fill our belly. Get in my belly. I have all... All of the... Um, all of the movie quotes today. <laughs> oh, hey, who is this guy? It is good to see that you have made it to our city, which you are seeing now. The Jarl of the city will want to see you in the morning, inside the city. I will see you there. Um... Okay, wizard guy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I would hope that the Jarl would be inside the city, that I would have to go see him. He's not just out wandering around. That would be... That would be rather uh, unfortunate. Let's let's go up this way. Daha, this is where we this is where we got clobbered. You find yourself at the mountain pass leading into the valley of Yarnvadir. You don't think it is safe to go back this way until the snow clears. Yeah, you think? You believe you lost your backpack here, but there is no sign of it. It is likely that some creature took it with him. You've heard 
the trolls are notorious scavengers. Um, yes, they're also notorious on the internet. <laughs> uh, we'll go down this way. Come on, come on, a little bit more. There you go. Need to work a little bit on the hot, on the hot areas here of the screen. Because I'm like right on the edge of the window here and it's, it's a bit uh, frustrating. Alright, do we have anything this way? Anything of note? Uh, nothing of note yet. <laughs> whole lot of trees. Not a whole lot of anything else. I think it is wise to stay close to forcing tuna to the... Oh, oh, I hit an invisible wall. Okay. Okay, let's try up here. Oh, here's the tree with the sword in it. How about that? Embedded in the trunk of a tree is a brightly gleaming sword with a majestic rune engraved hilt. Well, sir. It is stuck. Damn it, man. <laughs> of course it would be. It's magical. Well, I'll have to make note of it. Because I, I am definitely coming back for that loot. I will not leave this this area without my loot. Ooh, here we go. Here's here's a, a boar or something. All right, let's let's move over this way. He looks kind of angry. Um. All right, let's uh. Actions. Um. No. Uh. Inventory. Spear. Yes. Yes. That is. That's what I want to do. What do you mean there's nothing important to use a spear on? There's a freaking boar there. All right, boar, you're going to get it this time. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. All right. Your spear has broken and is no longer usable. And in the boar's corpse, and the boar's corpse isn't useful to you, except as a source of meat, of course. With a blade, you could easily carve out a good meal. All right. Well, I have, I happen to have blade uh, let's go here dagger I want to I want to use uh, uh um okay <laughs> I, I don't know why I cut off the strand of my hair but but uh, that's 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 a thing okay let's do that Using your blade, you cut off several large slices of meat from the dead boar. You found food using your animal ken skill. Many tasks in the game require you to have a minimum level in certain of your heroine skills. You can train skills simply by using them. For instance, to train climbing, find a tree to practice it on. Every time you climb has a chance of improving your skill. Click the face button on the command bar to see your current skill levels. On this sheet, skills are marked in green if they're improved since you last checked. Sweet. All right. Is that all I got from that thing? Uh, nope. All right. Well, I think, uh, let's, let us, let us head back to Fornsk Tuna here. Uh, since it is evening. There's no real reason for us to be out and about. Uh, let's head back and have some have a bit of a rest because we need to meet the Jarl in the morning. So what I want to do is I, I I'm assuming I still have to actually eat. <laughs> oh hey, you're you're out and about, huh? Uh, let's go in here. Okay. So how do I, here, here comes the big question, the question of the hour. How do I actually cook that stuff? Because I'm, sure, I'm assuming I don't want to eat raw meat. Um, cook your meat on the fire until it looks edible. Well, that, okay, that is, that is how I cook meat. 
Um, I generally like my meat to be edible. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, oh, good. It cooked all three pieces. Excellent. So... I'm assuming I should just eat these now, right? Okay. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> that tasted good. You no longer feel like you're starving. Still feeling a bit weak from your ordeal in the snow, you feel it would be good to explore the city some more. Then have a good night's sleep in the Adventurer's Guildhouse. I am, I am way ahead of you, game. I am way ahead of you. I have two pieces of meat left, too. That's, that's good. She didn't eat all of it. She's not a pig, at least. <laughs> uh, let us do this, and let us sleep for the night. I shall leave you in peace. Yes, please. Uh, it would be kind of creepy if you were just sitting there watching me sleep on the animal skin. You find yourself a warm spot near the fireplace and fall asleep on the rug. That sounds awesome. Oh, hey, kiddo. Is there anything you need here, lady? No, thank you. I am just exhausted and need some sleep. You can save our city tomorrow. I'm sure you will. Pleasant dreams. Uh, okay, you're, you're not so bad, kid, I guess. Meanwhile... I can see you, troll. What are you doing here? What? He has seen Garout hunting hiding place. Now we must kill him! <laughs> Is that so? My mighty sword can fell a tree in a single stroke. When I charge into battle, I kill three men with every cut of my blade, and two more with my heavy shield. I oh. have fought a dragon. Cut off its claws and made it eat its own tail. And then I boasted I'm about it. I'm Sigurd, son of Sigmund, and I fear no troll. He talks big for a human. Yeah, it certain does. This shall be fun. No this human. We punch through mountains with a swing of our fists. We have wrestled with the great Jormungand and tied him in a knot. We scare away kittens by smiling at them. What was that? <laughs> Mighty boats. No, yes. You do not impress anyone by talking about puny kittens. We can chase off small children. <laughs> Shut up. Now the human will laugh at us. Oh, will I certainly am. Him? Yes, for this is the human we seek. The one who has the left eye. The master shall be pleased with us again. Are you going to talk to yourself all night? Do not be impatient, puny human! We shall kill you now, and take the left eye from your bleeding corpse. No, oh, yes! <laughs> you wake up the next morning feeling refreshed, but distraught about your vision-like dream about the troll. Oh, that was that was a dream. Okay, uh, it seemed like it just happened to me. But uh, okay, and I am supposed to meet the Jarl now. Find out what this is all about. But we will do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.